Each one of us, when we were born, has received a treasure box like this. The treasures can only be revealed to us when we die or during our lifetime if we find the peace. Fellow those masters and friends, tonight you will see my treasures and you will know how these treasures were revealed to me. It was in June 1999, I just started college. One night, my brother saw me crying. Immediately, I was surrounded by my mom, my two brothers, and my two sisters. My mom looked at me and at my belly, then asked, Sheila, who is the father? I was not pregnant, that's my mom. <laughs> I was crying because I felt intimidated at school. I'm not smart enough to be admitted in any high-ranking public university in the Philippines, so I studied in a private college where my sister works. Coming from a humble background, I was shocked. My rich classmates, they live in high-end properties. I live in a poor community. They drive their own cars to school. I use public transport. They use expensive makeup. I use Johnson's speech. <laughs> <laughs> so I told them, I don't want to study anymore. I don't want to continue. My sister said, oh, Sheila, Sheila. I experienced the same. And someone told me, if you cannot find any reason to continue or achieve more for yourself, do it for others. Do it for others. So I looked at my mom, her face, and I saw wrinkles. Wrinkles of love, hard work, and sacrifices. She would do everything for us. She's the best borrower in the world. <laughs> borrower of money just to give us all a good life. So for my widowed mom, I continued studying. She is my king. August 2007, I got a job in Bermuda. My salary climbed up from Philippine peso to U.S. dollars. It's like winning Mark VI. At first, I was hesitant to accept the job because first, I would be away from my family. Second, it's my first time riding an airplane. Then third, I don't know how to cook. <laughs> but I accepted the job so that I could help my mom to pay her loans. So the loans she accumulated to support our schooling. But as expected, wasn't easy. I was going crazy. Every single night I would fall asleep crying. I miss them so much. At one point I told myself I will never ever leave my family again. Ever. After six months I paid her loans and even bought my mom her dream appliances. I have achieved my goal more than enough. And I knew that I could achieve more if I will continue working abroad, but no. No more crying, no more lonely nights. I will only finish my contract and will go back home to the Philippines permanently, that's it. April 2008, I was in the Philippines for a vacation. My mom and I attended a prayer singing meeting. So you pray and you sing, you pray, <laughs> sing, pray, sing. <laughs> Many of the attendees were out of school youth, which is normal in our poor community. That moment, I realized how blessed I am for having my mom. But at the same time, there's something bothering me. The teen's problem is money, which I can earn easily abroad, but I'll be lonely. Then there's a song. By name, I have called you. By name, I will send you. Forever with you I will be. I was just crying. After the event at home, my mom confronted me. She know why were you crying? Who is the father? <laughs> I told her I'm not pregnant. And I told her my plan that I will work overseas as long as I could. Then she said, but I thought, no more crying, no more lonely nights. I said, I will do it for others. I agreed to support a few things in our community by giving
giving them a small amount of money each month. However, when I returned to Bermuda three weeks later, my manager said, Sheila, unfortunately, we are closing our company. You have a month to find a job here, otherwise you will go back home permanently. Well, in my mind, I could go back to my simple living. But what about the things that I started helping? What about their future? Mm -hmm. So I applied in different companies in Bermuda and in other countries, but I got the same response. Sorry, you don't have an international accounting qualification. Sorry, you cannot communicate well. Sorry, sorry. But long story short, I was relocated from Bermuda to the U.S. and was, was able to support the teams until they finished their studies. But all throughout, to ensure that my job is secured, I studied accountancy again and joined those masters. My mom and the teams are my keys. They, that my, my treasures here were revealed to me because of them. So because of my mom, got my bachelor's accountancy degree, <laughs> got my job in Bermuda. Because of the things, I got my international accounting title, this is Certified Management Accountant. And recently, I earned my Distinguished Toastmaster title. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, imagine you are holding your own box. What do you see? What do you want to see? I encourage you to discover your talents, to explore your strengths, and reach your full potentials. Let your treasures be revealed to you now. Do not wait till you die. Find your keys. It could be your family member, your partner, or a fellow Toastmaster sitting next to you. And remember this, if you cannot find any reason to continue or achieve more for yourself, do it for others. Thank you.